Hello guys, welcome back. Um, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, um, there we were talking about uh, how to create an instance on Amazon. Now, since we have an instance created and an Apache server running, uh, we might want to add a domain. So we are talking today about this domain thing and how to add domains to your server using um, route 53 from Amazon service it's a free service from uh, Amazon <coughs> if clients two domains the third domain for the third domain you're gonna pay uh, not a big amount just two dollars or something like this but still if you have one domain it's okay and good to go so <clears throat> I'm using GoDaddy so first of all uh, when you add a domain to root 53 on Amazon um, you'll have to synchronize your uh, name servers with um, the registrar you are using I'm using GoDaddy as you may notice uh, here is <clears throat> some domains I already have so let's manage this one that info <clears throat> and um, yeah so basically you'll have to log in again into if into Amazon and uh, <clears throat> go to route 53 you'll find it uh, down to the service and right in the last column it's called route 53 and I already have these three domains hosted so <clears throat> let's do this uh, if you want to create any zone just create a hosted zone uh, you have to enter your domain let's say domain.com okay you can comment anything you want and you'll have to stay with the public hosted zone and hit create I won't hit because I already have uh, the domains hosted here <coughs> so basically it's a pretty job to do pretty easy job to do so let's play with it so <clears throat> first of all I might delete this record confirm okay so <clears throat> after you add the uh, hosted zone uh, you will Amazon will, will bring four name servers these name servers you will have to um, synchronize with your registrar account so um, I will go straight to change my name servers into the custom so uh, okay this one here okay you'll have to remove the dot from the end of these num name servers so I will have to add another so, okay mm. Now I have to save this. It will propagate, I think, in five minutes or something like this. Uh, we might need another step, so <clears throat> you'll have to go back to EC2 <clears throat> instance. Okay, we have one running instance into North Virginia, North Virginia. Okay, so <clears throat> we might, might try to ex 
access this again so we have the Apache to default page <coughs> so basically we are doing this we are um, replacing this IP address and synchronize the IP address with a valid domain name so yeah we are doing this okay um, what you have to do next is uh, go back to the route 53 and um, go to hosted zones um, I'm going to my domain and I'll have to add um, to create um, record it's let's call it www subdomain uh, and yeah IPv4 address it's pretty good and um, I will have to place here my IP address the current server I'm using so let's go straight and create it okay it's created right after the uh, propagation is complete if he I think it's already working info uh, ah, here we go so basically that's all it's pretty easy to add the domain uh, you can play with more domains and more things using virtual servers on your server uh, we will reach that point soon I think uh, we can play a lot and um, yeah uh, that's all for this tutorial we're going step by step and promise you it will be awesome by the end so thank you thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon I guess Yeah. Mm.